Not too much cloud cover here to start off for our Sunday, but that allowed temperatures to really drop down to where they're at for right now, which is around zero degrees. We're going to warm up though. We have winds coming in out of the south, so that warmer air is going to be arriving by this afternoon. Not too much of a wind right now, at least in Boardman. Our flag is trying to get going a little bit, but not too active right now at this moment. But a lot of areas now we're starting to push out of the negatives in a few spots, but still hanging on there in Mercer, Grove City and Minerva at negative one, but up to seven now in East Liverpool and Wellsville. So we're eventually going to go into the afternoon somewhere into the mid thirties, but clouds are going to be increasing along as well ahead of our next system. But this evening, it looks like we're going to be staying mostly dry, cloudy skies though, and temperatures will be in the low 30s by that time frame. And temperatures are actually going to rise up a little bit as we head closer towards sunrise. But by that time frame, we're also going to watch for some of the snow showers, have some raindrops mix in along with it. Winds are also going to be picking up overnight out of the southeast at about 515 miles per hour. Now tomorrow those high temperatures are going to be around 40 degrees, but we do have that wind out of the south at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, so that's going to be making it feel even colder, but at least we're going to go above freezing. We have rain and snow mixing showers to contend with mainly in the morning hours, but it's going to be persisting with the windy conditions throughout the rest of the day. So increasing clouds here for the rest of our day on Sunday on our future tracker winds picking up as we head into the overnight hours. Now we're starting to see the snow come in. This is now overnight. Now we're starting to push on into the morning commute. It's likely going to be heavy snow at this time frame. And now we're going on into the later part of our Monday morning commute. Now we're starting to see some of the mixing of the raindrops starting to happen. And eventually a lot of the precipitation should be wrapped up heading on into the late afternoon hours. And then by tomorrow evening, a lot of it should be pretty much done, but we're not going to be done fully until we get into Tuesday afternoon because Tuesday morning we have another round of snow that we're tracking. It's going to be the better chance for folks on the PA side. So looking at the snowfall map, this is just our one model, but it looks like for the most of the valley we could be seeing up to two inches of snow. But keep in mind with the rain, that's going to be hindering a lot of totals and whoever sees more rain is going to have the lesser total. So we're going to keep it pretty vague for most of the area. If you get more rain, lower numbers. We do expect wet and slushy conditions because this is expected to be more of that rain snow true mixing, not exactly the sleet or freezing rain that comes along with it. For right now, though, it does appear that we're going to be warming back up, staying above freezing with high temperatures at least for the next seven days. Wednesday is going to be the warmest day with eyes in the mid to upper 40s. It's been a while since we've had that. The last couple of weeks have been bitterly cold, so this is going to be a treat here. Luckily, the only weather system that we're really keeping an eye on over the next seven days is the one that's happening tonight, lasting into tomorrow. And then Tuesday, it should wrap up with mainly just snow in the morning. However, Wednesday, one model is trying to throw in some chances of maybe some mixing showers, but that will be the warmest day. And then after that, that's the best time to clean your car off because it's going to be dry.